This is a HeadGum Podcast. And we are back. We're here to help America's number one podcast. Don't look it up. Uh, Jake. Yeah. We got a great one. We got a fun one. We always say that. Yeah. But we mean it. Well, I, I do mean it. I, I don't think we've had an episode that... Well, we have had calls I don't like, and we yeah. haven't aired them. No, we haven't. So be it's, quite honest. what we're going to say to the audience is walk me we're, through, we're not 100%. Walk me through your headspace when the call isn't good. What do you start thinking? No, you walk me through what you think my headspace is. Here's you what, know. Jake, what Jake starts to do is I can tell he's not into it. Yeah. He starts kind of calling out like, let's get to it. Yeah. What's going on? <laughs> But sometimes they do get to it. Absolutely. And it sometimes, yeah. sometimes that's a very, it's yes. a good note. Yeah. Other times you can tell it's going off and then Jake will give the John Candy Blues Brothers three orange whip, wrap it up. <laughs> and he'll do that. And then he'll kind of let me go like, yeah, okay. Well, what I would do is I would probably, um, you know, maybe see if your husband can actually share the car with you and maybe you guys come up with a schedule or something like that. And then Jake goes, all right, Lacey, thanks for the call. Yeah. And so a lot of those in the middle of it, and Kevin and I will look at each other. Garf just seems committed no matter what. I'm in. Let's so, And can, even if the tone. If I was on the Titanic, I'd still be trying to breathe underwater. I think that's exactly right. Well, yeah. you'd be going like, I think there's a chance that we're going to get back right up to the water. Yeah, and we're going to do this thing. What if we lived on the iceberg? <laughs> Uh, Gareth, where are you going to be on your tour? Where can they find you? GarethReynolds.com. Uh, go to GarethReynolds.com. I'm going to be all over. I mean, just go to GarethReynolds.com. Yeah. I'm going to be in the Midwest. I'm going to be starting in Vegas. I'm going to be ending in New Orleans, all over the uh, place. All over. Uh, you can see the outfit if you like. And uh, and we should also say, go. you know, our YouTube is yes. starting to do better and better. So even if you don't watch the show on YouTube, just yeah. go there and subscribe yeah. just because it's, it's a good, we feel that dopamine. Yes. And, and we enjoy it. Without further ado. Hi there. Hi. You hear him? How's I gotcha. Yep. Hey. Sorry if we're a little delayed. We uh you're actually our first call in like Jake and I are together in studio for the first time and we dressed exactly the same. Yeah. And so. it's it's a little weird for us to be <laughs> in person Dude, we're watch- at Headgum. Yeah. We're watching each other no, do the th- show. Yeah. So this, is so, a, this is a so special you're, so one. So this is a special one. So no pressure, but your call should be really yeah. good. You know what I'm going to do, And this Garth? call has to be really good. I'm going to shake this off yeah. w- and just do our show. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Let's just do but, our that's show. That's a good idea. All right, so, here, I'll start. Okay. Start us. Uh, uh, how old's your city? What year is your name? I'm and gonna start, uh, I'm gonna where start are you calling us, about? I'm going to start us off. Okay, why don't you start? Can I get All your right. name? Can I get your name, please, buddy? Yeah, my name is Zach. How old are you, Zach, roughly? I am uh, I am 35 years old. Great exactly. age. 35. And, uh, you know, where are you in America? You sound American. Great country. Best country on earth. Yes. Yep. I'm on uh, this side of the pond. I'm calling from Syracuse, New York. Oh, oh wow. Syracuse. Real nightmare. So, Zach, um, 35 from Syracuse. Uh, what can we do for you today, buddy? So, I'm in a bit of a, it's a little predicament. Uh, I, I have a beer fridge, uh, a small beer fridge. Um, okay. And my wife and I just moved into our first home. Congrats. And I just kind of threw it in the dining room to start. Uh, Very man move. Put it somewhere, but we have a uh, we have a baby on the way, so I need to kind of move that thing out of the dining room and put it somewhere it's going to be uh, used more. And I'm torn between the basement and the garage. Now, this is a good call. No one yeah. did, I don't know if you guys know Syracuse, but it's, uh, it's cold. pretty chilly for about yeah. six months of the exactly. year. So. Let, let me interrupt for a second. I'm out of Chicago. Gareth is out of Wisconsin. We know what you're talking oh, about. Oh, you guys know. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, my only okay. big question to you that I'm judging is who the fuck puts a beer fridge in the dining room? I love the move. You I do? love the move. It's, it's it definitely was, no it baby a, move, but it also feels like a no wife move. move. Yeah. That's a in college yeah. move, my yeah. man. It's, yep, I'm uh, as a 35 year old. I still have the college mentality of a 22 year old. Who I respect. I think I understand beer. what this call is. You're about to have a baby. You're making a big jump, and symbolically, what's the best place to put this to start your new life? Is that where we're going, Zach? Yeah, yeah. A okay, bit. I thought um, I nailed it. I thought, I thought, I nailed I thought you were right, same. but I mean, he went soprano in the yeah. voice, so there's something <laughs> so, more going yeah, on all here. Right. Okay, so That's does the plot thicken on this one? All right, keep going, my friend. Uh, it, no, so it's it, you know, I it, there's pros and cons for both. Um, sure. I, I I smoke a, a bit of pot from time to time, right. as in usually once after work. 
Sure. Okay. And I so every if day, I put it in yeah. the garage, daily pot I can, smoker. I can, yes, yes. Yeah. A, a, no no shame day. in that game. I used okay. to do bongs in the morning, and we're talking about within the last two years. Go ahead, Zach. <laughs> so if I if I put it in the garage, now I can I can smoke freely. I can mm-hmm. pee freely. So just dip outside, and I not love have to you. Worry about a bathroom. Okay. My this, friends man. and I can play darts in the in the garage, not have to worry about it. But it's cold as fuck out there. For like six months of the year sure. but if i put it in the basement okay i can't smoke pot inside i gotta mm-hmm. worry about going upstairs to the bathroom and my <laughs> wife and the like, new baby it's like we don't know you the layout of your house well enough to know that you could sneak <laughs> one hitters in your inside house bathroom but whatever system you're working i love it okay so you can the downside keep going no smoking in the basement just to the bathroom no, no smoking inside and the wife is going to hear us in the basement if we were mm-hmm. in there yeah so the layout I, I gotta is say, but, but hold the, on zach i'm gonna jump in here so the basement if there's yeah. no bathroom and you're considering having people over with a baby and a new mom i'm gonna just tell you it doesn't work because if you're ah, down there having a couple of beers smoking weed and you tell a loud story and people laugh and it wakes up your fucking three month old baby because you and your two buddies got high. <laughs> fucking pack your bags, Zach. Yeah. <laughs> Either <laughs> way, you're going to the garage. It ain't going to fly, my man. <laughs> is that so, what you're so telling you're me? So the basement. Garage. Well, I'm saying, is the basement any world you can soundproof? How quiet is it? Is this a beer fridge for just you? Is this for you and a bunch of buddies? Uh, it's pretty much just a beer fridge for me. You said darts. You playing darts alone, my king? Yeah, man. Got to let off some steam after work, you know? Absolutely. You play so- Hold on. You play solo darts? <laughs> uh, you know. Have you, you ever? Could. What are, are, I know you you just, are you just trying you to hit bullseyes? You can put a monkey up your ass. Are I'm you? asking if you do, <laughs> my man. <laughs> <laughs> do you play solo yeah, do not, I do not currently. <laughs> okay, good. But, okay. But I Jake, do not currently. You're, Jake, you're forgetting how great weed is. You're right. You can smoke weed and then be like, I'm going to just play you're right. first guy to 35. I'm going to go play darts. Yeah, you're yeah. Not yeah. I'm going to go play wrong. 301 against myself. You're not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Solo three honey, one. Want, honey, call. do you want to hold the baby? <laughs> uh, pretty swamped down here. I am at 290. <laughs> I'm shaking a little. It's going to be hard to hit all these proper. So, Zach, <laughs> is is the question, where do we put the beer fridge, the garage, or the basement, and are we missing anything when we hear about the garage and we hear about the basement? Uh, I don't think so. It's just the garage isn't insulated. It's, yeah, it's freezing that's... as hell out there, even now. Yeah. But it's you know it's quieter, and it's away I... from everything. But. What Jake pointed out is pretty true. I think you're just there's like, yes, there is, you know, the risk of hypothermia in the garage, but you're going to have to just get that party warmth going. And um, first of all, I just love how much you love your beer fridge, that your beer fridge is kind of the catalyst for the lifestyle. Uh, so where you ever you move it, it's kind of your orb of partying. Um, it, it's going to be where I'm around. Yeah. Yeah. So, I, I think the 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 garage but hold feels... on hold on hold okay, on question because well. i hear where we're going um but i've also and look on a couple of these i've turned a little bit columbo-ish but i think that's more the caller than me because you've said two things you said you're mostly drinking this beer alone and smoking weed after work you've also mentioned friends and noise so is this mostly and i'm not judging you zach i'm just trying to get a real picture here is this mostly you come home from work alone you have a couple of beers, you this smoke weed alone? Question. Because if so, I don't want you freezing in that garage. That, alone. Could, that could be basement, my man. How often out of 100 <laughs> times a are you having friends? And this is you, not a judgment. You, you, you nailed it. It's, it. it's me. It's just me. You're solo. Okay, so- 90% of the you, you time, know, it's solo time. You are- Okay, I, you, one more thing yeah, with the friends. Yeah, you are good at the one more thing. So then I'm going to change, <laughs> Zach, because look, in college- you seem like a, a likable guy, and I'm sure you had a bunch of buddies and you guys got loud and you had a lot of fun. It does change with kids. And when you've got one, my guess is in a few years, you're going to have two. And that 90-10 split is going to probably go to about 95-5. And you're going to be spending a lot of solo time in there. So I'm going to say your comfort matters too. And I'm going to say, let's okay. build that basement to be two things. 
your beer fridge weed zone and also a place for your kids to hang with dad zone. Whoa. Bean bags, Ooh. some, you know, the kid is going to become your new friend. It's a reality. So yep, put a no, zone I'm in there. For it. When the weed goes away, you have a couple of beers and you got a five year old. You could have a screen down there. Good for kids' movies, some Pixar stuff. And Put a when Pixar the kids movie are in, away, you could throw crack a, little, a beer, like uh, soft core porn on there. Throw a little Cinemax on there if you like. Go cut, ahead, fucking Jake. cut that out. Why? That has to stay in. I haven't said something for a minute. Go ahead. Hold on. <laughs> what? Zach, we don't live in untrue bits. You think he should watch soft core <laughs> pornography you ever go to a with bar? his new baby? Go, no, no, no. I'm saying the baby's out. I'm oh, yeah, no, I, I'm not suggesting we I thought your red shoe was, diary this toddler. Put no. a fucking no. soft core on with his no. child, you animal. No. Okay. You mean I mean I get it, but no, that's not what mean, I'm pitching. So you're pitching no one's oh, you're pitching nineties basement. I'm, I'm pitching yeah, when you've got a screen down yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. Great for the child, right? And to then just be like, everyone oh, goes how to good bed. is up. Yeah. You're pitching Midwest basement of our childhood. Yes. So of those course. if you went to somebody's house and their dad had a beer fridge. In the Midwest in the 80s. Stack of Playboys. There was a stack of Playboys. There was cable TV. And you'd be like, looking back now, gross, Mr. Watson masturbating. Yeah, yeah. We were in Mr. Watson's (laughs) wax Nasty, actually. (laughs) All those nerd dads just just Drinking an IPA as he slowly stroked. And back in 1986, their wife had no idea. Well, I think Carl He likes the articles. There's always the article. Yeah, the article. Always. Just murdering that suburban dick. Yeah, but I'm saying, so we've got, so yeah, well, he's <laughs> just, uh, just, oh, Zach, please don't tell us we're pitching you a masturbation check. No, no. We're just saying a little oh, something no, 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 no. in the background. This yeah. is a, be- this is a place a jack to smoke a little weed, have a beer, and relax after work. Yeah. So let's get yeah. away from the Skinamax that Gareth was talking about. What? My guy put us in a zone I want to get out of. All right. Go ahead. Zach, where are you at? You want to live in the masturbation shack or you want to get away from You're it? You're pushing the skin of Mac so far. It's not the title. It's a, it's a co-star. I'm going to say let's the... get away from the masturbation Agreed. shack. Agreed. All right. I don't know so that we're I'm... aligning. Okay, go ahead. Here's what I'm going to say that's negative about the garage, uh, and I'm going to say it kind of solidly, and you know this. I'm not telling anything that people out east don't know. Those winters will kill you. Yeah. Those mm-hmm. winters will kill you. And if you try to have a hit a weed and a beer, you're going to be sitting out there like you're ice fishing and it's going to suck. Yeah. And you'll be like never be out. Yeah, I don't want to have to throw on my winter coat to go hang out after work. No, because then guess what, Zach? You're a weirdo. You're not yeah, a cool dad exactly. relaxing. You're yeah. a weirdo who's freezing to get away from your kid. And then if you have to warm yourself up, we know what you're doing in the garage. You're whacking it a little bit. You got the screen, the whole nine. Zach, what don't we're... transition <laughs> fast. Let it sit. <laughs> <laughs> what we're no, saying Mark. no not we what you right you are trying to turn this into a I'm masturbation tell- shack i'm saying and i'm saying i'm not interested i'm, saying, in the, I'm saying, saying there's a lot of downside to the garage and if you had to go out there then maybe we come back to the the jack shack but you're right let's stay away from that because we're saying the garage don't I'm gonna make, zach i'm gonna make a deal with you i'm not bringing up a masturbation shack again are you gonna bring it up uh, I will not bring it up. So if it so comes up again, let's just all get that quiet because it's just Gareth. He's trying to do the thing he does recently. He dressed like me today, which kind of weirded me out. We look and he, good. And but... he says we about his ideas. Yeah, we. So if it happens we again, have a good Zach, outfit let's just got... both get quiet. All right. All right. Okay. Back right. where we were. Sorry right. about that. Right where we were. I agree. Agreed. So I think the garage sets you up for six months of the year being a weirdo in the cold. Uh, I think the basement, I think here's how you win. Uh, I'm ready to pitch. I think you set it up in the basement, but you make it slightly toddler friendly. I think that okay. I'm on. I'm good with that pitch. I think you basically you keep uh, since you're not hosting, which yep. you kind of said you're not doing. It doesn't matter. It's just for you. You can easily go out, do a one hitter outside or in the garage, Agreed. or I guess if you have a smoking bathroom, which sounds like a great deal you've made with the wife. Um, that's all that matters. Do so you have got a th- smoking bathroom? That's what he said. He said he could go do the smoke in the bathroom. No, he said he could go upstairs no, to I just, the bathroom. I just meant the bathroom to go take a leak while I'm oh, drinking beer. Where are you going to smoke the weed then? You okay, my man? No, I'm pretty well, the weed, The weed was going to The weed was going to go in the garage. Right. All right. Well, yeah. either way, it doesn't matter. I think keep it down in the basement. 
I I think that's you too? right. Yes. I don't I mean personally I don't have kids so I don't know why you got to include the kid, but I get it. It's I sweet. It. It's so our Gareth nice is a uh don't worry about the kid, just create the basement. But we're both into the basement. Zach, where are you at, man? What do you think you're going to do here? Well, I think I'm going to uh, work on the basement. I mean, okay. maybe maybe finish finish it, yeah. or split it in two and make a dad zone and Ooh. a kid zone. I love that, man. Because you know what you could eventually get into with the wife is you could say like, hey, I got the kid in the basement. You go relax. You're living dad zone. Your kid's in paradise too. That's a nice win. Thanks. I'm, I'm glad you guys pointed me down this road. Yeah, I, didn't I, really I think, think I kind of was that. trying to give you different directions, but the point is we ended up at the same destination. <laughs> Zach, I think this is a big win, but I would 100% don't even think of the garage again. You're out in Syracuse. You got to respect that. That's all right. We'll uh, do. We appreciate this call and good luck with that baby, man. You're about to have a big adventure. Good luck with that beer fridge. Same, yeah, same I deal. Can't, I, I can't wait for both. Thanks, guys. See you, bud. Bye, bud. Thank you. All right, Jake Johnson, Gil Buchanan, we're back. We're talking about rocket money. Jake, rocket money. You know what it's like on your phone. You got a bunch of things you're paying for. You you, you don't mean to be paying for them. You know what I'm talking about, Jake? Yes. Of course. You probably got some weird apps on there. People don't even know about some stuff that you probably don't want to share with people, and we're not going to make you. But what rocket money does is it finds these useless products, these useless apps, these things that you're paying for that you don't need to. It finds them, and it puts them in a rocket ship, and it blasts them out of your galaxy i mean i know for me personally there were a number of things a number of subscriptions that i was paying for that i was going hey gil what's going on by the way alice is up my a a little bit going hey gil we need more money for pot roast we need more money for pot roast i'm going alice not now focus there's a household budget and i'm trying to make ends meet as much as i can i'm getting off topic you don't even need to say it jakey j but rocket money is a personal finance app that finds and cancels your unwanted subscriptions monitors your spending and then helps lower your bills now jake do you like high bills no i don't think you did buddy boy neither does gilly bean buchanan rocket money has over five million users and has helped it save members what gil how about your tongue gets involved <laughs> rocket money has over five million users and has helped save its members an average of 720 dollars a year with over 500 million dollars in canceled subscriptions now think about what i'm saying and stop wasting money on things you don't use cancel your unwanted subscriptions by going to rocketmoney.com slash help that's rocketmoney.com slash help rocket Rocketmoney.com slash help. Jakey Johnson, Gil Buchanan, ones and twos, 68 and bowling. Hello. Hey, how you doing? How's it going? Good. You're on the show. We're here to help with uh, Jake and Garf. Uh, can we get your name, please? Yes, my name is Jack. Where are you, uh, where are you from, good looking? I'm originally from England. From England? No accent. I'm originally from England. Um, yeah, I'm living in Charlotte, North Carolina right now. Oh, I just heard it. Where, uh, where in England are you from, mate? May I ask that question for you? Um, I'm from a town called Reading. Oh, of course I know Reading. Yeah, it's right next to Bluing. And we'll be right back. Yeah. <laughs> um, that's lovely, mate. Good for you. What, what brings you to Charlotte then? Well, America, my dad's job brought me to New York and then down to Charlotte for work. Well, how old were you when you moved over? Uh, so, what's going on, mate? Uh, I said, how old were you oh, as a boy hold when on, you, hold when on, you, Jack. Hold on, we're when you hopped the fucking pond, yeah? Oh, God. Starting over there in a right beautiful town, then you fucking hop over to the big fucking app, and you look up, you see the fucking Statue of Liberty. So, let me say, your, like, oh, your, so your tactic at this point is to just muddle the accent with a bunch of nothing open that we don't know. about nothing, say. Jack. So what's your problem, mate? Let me see what I can do to help you. I'm on the everything on fucking camera. Um, but I'm also sitting here, man. Jack, I'm fucking like, I'm Jack you're going to need to wait a minute, mate, until Jake comes back. Jake, no, don't do this. If I can eat a fucking patty, man, I'm also going to... What are you eating? A fucking patty sandwich, man. A, but pa I'm not, a patty sandwich? I'm also... Not, I'm fucking afraid to get one of these, motherfucker. What, you can punch him? Yeah. Why? Jack, where are we at? <laughs> Jack, can you help I'm, us I'm out? I'm loving the accent. Thank right. you, man. Uh, well, I'm more uh... bad at it. Uh, Jack, what? Uh, <laughs> what? Uh, what's the problem? What can we help you with, bud? So basically, at work, um, I'm a designer, um, cool. and for work, I'm I'm not super extroverted. I'm not really um, outspoken. Yeah. Okay. I'm more extroverted outside of work, um, but inside of work, I, I'm so I I teach myself a little bit more. Um, but I want to be more feel like myself. I want to be more um, outspoken at work. Okay. Um, and so last Halloween, I thought it'd be a fun oh boy um, thing to like get more out of my shell, sort of like show show the 
the the team where I work that I'm, I'm more fun. Maybe win mm-hmm. a costume contest. Sure, um, I love this so setup. I came, I came into setup. work. Uh-huh. I came into work fully dressed as Legolas from Lord of the Rings. Um, with can we the pull up a photo? Yeah. Wait, give yeah, us one second, Jack, because I don't know the look. Yeah, yeah. One second. Yeah. What is the name of the character? Legolas. Legolas. He's an elf. He's a wood <laughs> elf, I think. A wood elf? Um, okay, sure. I've did had an Jack send a photo in of him? He did. Oh, I thought great. We got, we got a picture. So of hold on one second, Jack. We're going to post this. And then for anybody listening, you can also watch it on YouTube. Uh, we're here to help. Just type that into YouTube, and you're going to see the photo as we see the photo. And if you're not somebody who wants to do that, then Gareth will also describe it. Is that correct? Absolutely. Uh, what we're looking at here is... So this is what you wore to your... Oh, we're almost yeah. there. Okay. It's a long blonde wig. Oh, I was okay. wearing boots and a cape um okay. and really? pointy, pointy ears you can't really see in the picture oh it was a zoom um, it was a zoom, oh, zoom. so these were all your co-workers well, wait. hold so on now i'm getting the- oh <laughs> jesus christ okay now all right okay oh, i love you jack oh jack okay I love now you, man. uh it took me a minute to find you because you're kind of stashed yeah, but, in the corner of this But picture. just to describe what's happening, this is a Zoom chat and nobody is dressed. <laughs> Not only is nobody dressed, <laughs> nobody looks amused no. in any way uh, by anyone. Yeah. And you're wearing a and long blonde wig for I some would, reason. I would call you so I, yeah. a traditional Englishman. <laughs> you have a mustache and glasses. And then it's, oh, is this the Orlando Bloom character? No. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yes. it is. Oh. Okay, so you're dressed like the Orlando Bloom character from Lord of the Rings. So you have a blonde yep. wig. What else are you wearing? Because this is yeah. just a shot from the shoulders yeah. up. What else are you, you wearing really to show your costume? So I'm I'm wearing boots. I'm wearing right. a, uh, I'm wearing you... a cloak. Sure. <laughs> Can I just jump in real quick, Jack? Yeah. Two things yep. that'll not show up on a Zoom window. So those are just kind of for daddy at home, right? <laughs> Yeah. Oh, I mean, I'm in. I'm in the office. I'm in the physical office. I go in. Oh, so okay. So everybody have. sees you in the office. And is what are all these other people on the Zoom then? So some some of the people are in. I didn't know where the meeting was, so I just entered it through Zoom. <laughs> some people in my office like work at home. Some people come in. Respect. I was I was in office, surrounded probably by I think there's like 150 <laughs> people in my office. Oh God. And okay. I was the I was the only person dressed. Oh up. my God, Jack. It was tough. Uh, I'm I'm a little overwhelmed with both joy, confusion, yeah. and terror. But by the way, Jack, I will say this is a hard one, but you won. It's you great. Won. You won. It's hard, it, my man, but you won. It's a great <laughs> risk. Your fa- it, look at his face. Too. I know. That's you're, in, thing. you're in a nightmare. Your, your face. Your face. <laughs> yeah, you're in a nightmare. Your you, face completely indicates. Whole, this is not what I expected. You know, this is a I pre- thought better. This is a premise that I've seen in scripts and I've said unrealistic. Yeah, you're like too broad. Bring it back to earth. <laughs> too broad. A guy dresses up with nobody long else hair. And nobody now, else. wait, Jack. To be clear, nobody else in the office wore a costume. Not literally, no one in the office. I was like, I was so confused. My question is, did you put any feelers out there to anyone else at work? Hey, we doing costumes or anything like? Yeah, I asked my like the people on my direct team like the week before I was like I'm coming in in, in a cool costume by the way you Jack that's different than what I said just to be clear there's a difference yeah I said did you oh. ask anyone else if, the, if they were doing costumes and you said yeah I told everyone the week before I'm coming in in a costume <laughs> well, I, I, yeah you're right, he's, you're he's right, right Jack he's right uh, okay I got so some responses. You did, oh, I bet you yeses. did oh you got oh, some you, yeses and nobody else did it and then no one came through okay so Jack you take over now where are we at? Yeah. What's the, I, we kind of know what the problem is, but I'd like to hear it specifically from you. You're back in controls. Yeah, so sort of to take a little turn, I sort of came up with one idea that I think, like, part of the reason I'm not super confident at work, at work is I, I really like the people I work with, um, but my team isn't, like, full of... I don't really have any young guy, like, who's my age right. that I can be, like, super close with um, sure. or go to lunch with or like, something like that. Um, and that's sort of what I'm looking for. But I have, I've, I've, this sounds weird, but I sort of like scoped out a guy who I've had a couple of interactions with mm. in a break room. And we've got along well. This is giving me a stomach ache. And, and wait, what, wait, 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 what did you just say? <laughs> he's got a so guy he's stalking I, that he wants to be friends with. Yeah, but what, was the, what was the last thing you said before Jake? He saw me in a nausea. break room. Yeah, but what did you do? You went up to him? No, I, we've had oh. conversations, natural conversations. Basically, I'm a mad man. 
how do I approach another guy and ask him out to go to lunch? Yeah, but this okay, hold on, way. hold on, this Jack. Is a fantastic Jack, setup. We're on your the setup. The setup. This and whole the question, setup is just now. If the question I'm was, how do I make a friend with a guy I work with is fine. I'm looking at you on the Zoom. And in the bottom right corner, you are a hundred <laughs> times the weirdest guy there. I'm worried. Uh, <laughs> if you were the guy with donuts behind, I'd go, easy, offer a donut. If you were the guy in the top right, I would say, find a shared hobby. <laughs> if you're the guy wearing a long wig, you go, a cloak we and need, boots, yes. I would say, we need find, metal a, detectors. find a friend outside of work. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. This is... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, the right, the yeah. reason why your setup of the fact that you dressed up like Legolas or whatever his name is for work is fantastic is because I think you did put yourself on a little bit of an island. Yes. Uh, you sort of- A glorious you show, island. You, 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 by the way, good news, Jack, people do know who you are. Don't think that you're getting lost <laughs> in the shuffle. People know who you are at work now. Maybe they didn't before. After Halloween, um, they they did. So it's the problem is basically that's the setup. You showed up. You feel like, oh, you've maybe only further alienated yourself. Now there's a guy at work you want to be work friends with, and you don't know how to approach him. So yeah, I got a pitch. I, got, I mean, not a quite pitch, Jack, but look, now we know the setup. We know you're in a danger zone. We're all in the mud, right? We're face down in the mud. Let's get out of the mud together, correct? I got a mud solve. We'll dress up like Legolas every day. Pretend it's how you roll. <laughs> I feel like that's going deeper in the mud. Agreed. So here's what I would say. What about this guy? And when I say terms like like, we're not teasing. We know it's a friend. What do you like about this guy? I, I, every conversation we've had, being brief has been like uh, on similar interests. We what are those talk interests? About, like movies, movies, TV shows, like pop culture. But but when you're talking about these things, are you talking about the same stuff? Because like you know, Gareth and I do have the NFL. Yeah, we've got our careers. Yeah. We've got stuff that's linked us over the years. That there's stuff yeah. we can always kind of text about or bullshit about. So just the idea of pop culture, it's too much. If somebody's like, look, I'm like, I yeah. really love pop culture. And they're like, me too. Let's talk The Bachelor. I'm going to go like, I don't have a lot to say on that. So is it the same movies? Is it the same shows? Yeah, Where are we at? similar, just like sort of like nerdy-esque, like Star Wars. Like, okay. We talked a little bit about the new Dune movie. Okay, so then here, all right, easy. This is easy. This is easy. What, uh... The first big nerdy thing that comes to Charlotte, either it be a Comic-Con or a big movie or whatever that you know he will also like, mm -hmm. you lead out first and go, you know, I would love to go to this thing. My wife's not interested. Uh, any interest in getting dinner and going? Yeah. So he knows you're not like, it's just as a buddy, I want to get a drink and go see this thing. It would be fucking awesome. I like that. You could probably, when does it, Dune's not out yet, is it? No. But I've had like three three or four interactions. That's my thing. It's like we're not at that in time. I of got it. It's too How early. long have the interactions like, been? Super early. short? Uh, Jack walks Very up and goes, short. Do you Very like short. my costume? And the guy walks out. I would say short. <laughs> Then Jack would say, like, have you seen my new boots? And the guy goes, like, fucking stop following me. Look, man, I'm trying to do my own thing Agreed. here. Agreed. Uh, <laughs> I can't have you bringing me down. And then he goes like this, you like weird stuff like me? And he goes, oh, God, you scared me. I didn't know you were in here. <laughs> I'm taking a dump. <laughs> so, Jack, uh, I, I it's think early. It's early. I So, so yeah. I think we got to find a way to kind of, I, I, th I, like, I like Jake's pitch, but, yeah, we don't want to, like, creep him out we don't want to lose him early do <sighs> do people from work eat lunch in the same place you all kind of go off campus i mean people sort of take their own lunch when, whenever they're free um, but is there like I a common like, eating room uh not in our office we sort of go we're in like a very like um there's a lot of restaurants around this area i gotta work. say jack i'm getting red flags do you guys ever work together are you on email chains together are there things like that going nope. on or <laughs> nothing so he is in a totally uh, separate part of your designer job yeah not not a designer at all yeah did he mention your costume uh i i don't think i don't even know if i saw him on that day so let's be honest jack uh let's give this guy a name you want to call him orlando orlando Love it. okay so let's say you like Orlando, but you have had very, very minimal interactions with him. Is yeah. this correct? Yeah, correct. Like I'm talking in got... total under ten minutes. Is this correct? Yeah, probably not... at ten okay. minutes. So Jack, okay. we're not. I'm saying this. Look, some of our advice is we pitch, we get you there. But what the premise of this goddamn show is is we are on your team. We're friends in a bar, and I'm telling you as a friend. 
don't push this. I'll tell you why. You're a fucking designer. You got a great job. You got a wife. You're a happy guy. You're a little introverted. You're looking to be more yourself at work. Well, sometimes it takes time. You let out hard on Halloween and you went big. And Jack, we didn't win there, right? Now, yeah. in terms of when you're did. an old man looking back, you won massively. Big. Oh, if you're us, <laughs> oh, it's a win. Yeah. And if you're, look, when you're you and you look back, you're such a fucking king for doing this. Yeah. But you're, you, you're a king for keeping the wig on Agreed. when nobody else wore it. Cause you could simply just I would go chicken to like, out. I would chicken out. You, I mean, <laughs> the, you must have been wearing something underneath. At lunch, you could have probably gone home or something. There's got to be my, a TJ yeah. Maxx nearby where you probably could have bought a shirt and we just went looked to, like you were half a we, Zelda. We went to a Halloween party, my wife and kids and I, and she put something on me because I didn't have something. And there was a whole plan. But what it ended up being at the end was just essentially like a, it was like a trash bag, like a cape. <laughs> and I walked in and one dad goes, what are you, trash? Instantly took it off. <laughs> <laughs> I got so one. I have Wait, a lot of respect for you. I, and I, I'm gonna, I think Jake's right. I'm going to hit you with some Please. psycho options in a minute. But let me just tell you my favorite one. Yeah. One time I waited so long to buy a Halloween costume and finally last minute agreed to go to a party. And the only thing left at the costume shop, that weird one on Hollywood and like sure. Franklin or whatever, sure. um, was a stoplight where you're the stoplights Fun. or a baby. And uh, and I was like, my buddy was like, uh, do the baby, man. And I was like, yeah, fuck it. All right. And I so I bought the baby costume. And as I'm like thinking of what the baby costume is, I'm slowly going, I mean, it is a diaper and a bonnet and a rattle. <laughs> and so I'm kind of going like, wait, what the hell is this? So so I'm like, uh, I don't know. So I'm at my buddy's place and he, I, and if I don't want to take like a bag to the party, as I put it on, I'm like, I can't do this, but I've painted myself into a corner. So I'm like, I, bring, I come out in the baby costume, probably take a couple bong rips and everybody's laughing. And then I have to leave my clothes at my buddy's place. And so I just put my wallet down the front of my die die. Yeah. And, um, and I go to the party, and as soon as I show up to the party, I'm like, this was the dumbest decision I've ever made. Everyone was like, I, even at a, a costume party, everyone was like- Too much. Yes, everyone was like, what are you doing? Yeah. So yeah. I eventually, I ended up walking in the rain, and I had to wait in like a 15 minute long ATM line to get cash to take a cab home. And, um, and it was a big swing, yeah. and it was a big miss. And I'll tell you what he's not doing that night is forming a male friendship with a stranger. I met another baby. And so, But that's where we're at with you, Jack. I think this is what I would say. I think Jake's right. You might just have to wait for this. You know, I think, you know, maybe talk to him a little more, but you don't want to overdo it. But I have some psycho it's pitches. It's too right now. Okay. Here, here's some yeah. psycho pitches. He's probably on social media, right? You could probably look him up. You could probably find him on Instagram or something. Follow him. Nothing wrong with that. I don't think that's too crazy. Um, another pitch would be you're probably on an email together. Is there anyone else at your work who has a name similar to him? You could accidentally email him with a question about mm -hmm. design stuff and then say, oh, my bad. I thought you were the other whatever. And uh, and that could potentially start a okay. little bit of a conversation. Um, something maybe along those lines. The weirdest one I have, you could follow him at lunch. See where he's going. <laughs> scope it out a little bit and then set up a meet cute where you see him at Baja Fresh and you know you're waiting in line you go oh hey you like burritos too I love burritos oh you're in a fucking five minute line there's a little bit of an opportunity for some banter there you could potentially move that yeah. into a sit down lunch you two together okay so here's where we're at Jack I'm saying you gotta let this flower grow more organically right now you just got a seed in the dirt Gareth is saying, follow him on social media. One of these. I know. We're going to go through them. It seemed like an attitude. Nope. Okay. Oh, I have an attitude. The idea of following another man on go social ahead. media randomly. Hey, hey, Keep stick to the- Don't love it. Stick to the recount. You could email a name close to his and say like, hey, Borlando, great meeting. I had this thing. What a mistake. Hey, hey want to go- Hey, do we need to yeah. get that design project in by Friday? Wanna I'm go thinking see... if I have the weekend, I could probably make it a little better. Want to go Ten see Ten minutes Doom. later. Oh, dude, sorry. I didn't mean to email you. My email filled that in. I got to tell anyway, you- Anyway, how or, good does Dune look? Orlando's going to see right through that, and then you're the weirdest guy he's ever Depends met. Depends the name. Three, follow him at lunch. You're, but he doesn't know that. You're <laughs> saying that like he knows he's being followed. He doesn't know he's being followed. Uh, if you do that, do not wear your Halloween costume. Absolutely. <laughs> and four, That's baked into everything I said. create a meet cute with a guy you That's met a few three. times at work, bump into each other, this drop three your library books. Three and four together. Three and four and together. Then go, yeah. you also like doing- I also like mild salsa. So- Meet him at the little salsa bar. Jack, 
our friend, where are you at? Yeah, I think we're we're sitting around one or two. I I follow him. I think I'm on LinkedIn with him. So I think we'll I'll maybe get get a social media follow and see if anything progresses from there. Yeah, um, I would say yeah, I don't want to force it. No, Jack, you no. can't. You can. Whenever people try to force something, the other person always senses it. I would say you got a good thing cooking socially. Your job isn't where you want it to be. But maybe just give this you time. You could walk into the break room when he's there on Bluetooth and be like, I know, dude. That was what, hey, we like to party. That's what we do. <laughs> All right, I'll talk to you later. That was my best friend. You know, make him want it more. I'm looking at Jake's face, and I'm not even going <laughs> to let him talk. Jack, we want you to keep us posted. Let us know if anything changes, <laughs> and uh, hopefully it does. But, yeah, don't overplay your hand here. Look, you tried that once. You ended up with boots and a wig on it. Well, I had a wonderful time partying with all my male friends because I'm not alone <laughs> on a Friday. Hey, how you doing, Orlando? Hey, Orlando. <laughs> nice lunch quiche. <laughs> hey, Jack, all the best to you, man. And you won Halloween. Yeah, thanks, man. guys. You're, you're, you're a favorite. By the way, Jack, next Halloween, great. I would wear the same outfit. So it Double I. down. So it Double I. down. All right. I'll send the pick. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Hey, everybody. Thank you guys for watching us on YouTube. Please like and subscribe so you don't miss any of this quality content. Ring, ring. Here to help. Go ahead. Good wake up. Cut. That was a headgum podcast. <laughs>